Self-driving technology startup Aurora is on the fast track to go public. Aurora, led by former self-driving pioneers from Google, Uber, and Tesla, is merging with a SPAC called reInvent Technology Partners Y. reInvent is run by LinkedIn co-founder Reid Hoffman, Zynga founder Mark Pincus, and veteran investor Michael Thompson. Aurora is being valued $11 billion, and the deal is expected to close later this year. Joining us for more on the deal is Aurora co-founder and CEO Chris Ermson and reInvent Technology Partners Y CEO Michael Thompson. Good morning to you both. Chris, let me start with you here. We've talked with a good number of, of LiDAR technology companies, working all working on very interesting stuff. What makes your company different from them? Yeah, well, first, we're not a LiDAR company. We're actually building the complete self-driving stack. So we built the Aurora driver, which com combines hardware, software, and data service to let a vehicle drive safely through the world. And then we're going to deliver that in a driver-as-a-service model to customers, where they'll pay us based on uh, the miles we drive to support their businesses. And Michael, I imagine you've seen a, a good number of uh, tech companies go public here via SPAC. Why did you and the team select this one? Uh, well, quite simply, it's the best team in the market in our opinion. We've been longtime partners and investors with Chris and the team at Aurora. Our partner Reed has been a longtime board member of the company. Our fund reInvent has been an investor since the Series B. And we've had a long view that this is the best team in the market. And as we've been going through this diligence process for the, for the past four months, that view has only been bolstered. And we've also had the opportunity to meet with heads of all the major uh, divisions within the company. And I can just tell you from, from our experience, this is just a world-class team from top to bottom. Hey, Chris, it's Julie here. I'm back to you to sort of explain a little bit more. I mean, as Brian mentioned, we've seen a lot of companies within this space, different segments of it to be sure, um, come public over the past six months or so. There are more than aren't public yet. So how, as people who are potential investors, how should we be thinking about you differentiated from some of the other offerings out there? It's hard to sort of yeah. make sense as an investor of what versus what. Yeah, no, of course. And and I think about it as spanning the people we have, the technology we're developing, the partnerships we have in the place and the way we're coming to market. On the people front, the team is about 1,600 people strong, of which about 1,400 of us are focused on delivering the product, getting it out the door. And that's really what it takes to do this. And there's only two other companies we think that are at that scale. And if you ask around in the industry, the depth of experience our team has, bar none, is, is, is at the top of the charts. And that's led to us investing in technology that'll actually solve the problem rather than result in demoware. And that's, again, based on the experience the team has, having seen the dead ends and knowing what we need to do to actually get to product. On the partnership front, here I think we really stand out. Uh, we're partnered with the world's number one car manufacturer with Toyota, the world's number one uh, ride hailing platform with Uber, and two of the top truck manufacturers, two of the top three truck manufacturers that make up about 50% of the trucks on the US market. So incredible set of partnerships. And then for us, we're leading by coming to market with tr in trucking, where we'll deliver a product that will drive trucks from terminals to terminals. Uh, but soon behind that, we'll be entering into the ride-hailing market through our partnership with Uber and Toyota. And thus, as an investor, you don't just have to bet on trucking or ride-hailing. You can bet on the whole uh, uh, opportunity in transportation, which is a multi-trillion dollar uh, space. Chris, uh, you know, on the topic of Uber, uh, Uber CEO Dara Kozershahi, he, he's on your board, I believe. They are an investor in your company. When might we see self-driving Uber cars hit the road? Yeah, so so our first product will be in trucking, and that'll be at the end of 23. And then soon thereafter, we'll take that same core technology, because the Aurora driver, again, is common, whether it's on a big tr Class 8 tractor trailer or whether it's on a small EV. Uh, and so soon thereafter, you'll start to see us serving passengers and customers uh, driving things like from airport to hotels along freeway uh, routes. Michael, how confident are you that once this deal closes that you know Aurora won't need another capital infusion? I mean, they're not expected to be profitable to what, 2027. You know, what does the, the capital allocation look like over the next three to four years? Uh, great, this, so th this transaction has a $2 billion of capital both through a sp uh, the SPAC and through the pipe. Uh, and incidentally, the pipe is, itself is a billion dollars, and, and I believe it's the first and only billion dollar pipe for a U.S. company since April. So we're very pleased with that outcome. And that, that capital combined with the cash already on Aurora's balance sheet 
we believe and the company believes will take the company through commercialization of the trucking product. Uh, there will be need for future capital infusions over time, but we're very excited about having this war chest of capital to get to commercialization. Chris, finally, I want to ask you sort of about public perception of autonomous driving, um, because obviously we've had some sort of movement toward that. You have, for example, Tesla's um, autopilot, which has not been all it's cracked up to be. So do you think that that has actually set public perception and understanding of autonomous driving back? And do you think that it needs to be repaired to some degree? Yeah, I think it's really important that we differentiate between driver assistance systems like what Tesla providing and what we're ultimately building, which is something that can truly drive a vehicle without a person on board and do that safely and reliably. Uh, and what I'm actually really bullish on is that people will understand and appreciate the value of this. I've been working this space for going on 20 years now, um, and uh, it's it's incredible to see the transformation in someone where they get into a vehicle where they're very skeptical, they experience it driving safely down the road, and 30 minutes later, maybe even 15 minutes later, they're kind of bored because we've all had that experience on being in a vehicle uh, where someone else drives it or being around vehicles that are driven by someone else. Uh, and so I'm actually um, really uh, enthusiastic about this. I think if you look at the statistics, there's been these studies that have happened where um, people come out and said, you know, you know, 60 percent of the American public isn't ready to ride in a self-driving vehicle. Uh, I look at that one and say that means 40 percent of the American public is, which is kind of incredible for a technology that, that doesn't exist today. Uh, and then the other is that, well, they, they don't really exist at scale today. So people wouldn't have the chance to experience it. And like so many other things in life, once you try it, you know, it's um, it, it makes it clear to you what the opportunity and value is. Chris, real quick before I let you go, I have 15 seconds. How long is your deal with Uber, your data, data sharing deal? How long does that go to? Yeah, we have about a de decade long uh, a data sharing deal with Uber, and that's independent of the commercial framework we have with them as well. So we're really excited about that partnership. Dara and the team there have been incredibly great partners for us, and we're just we're thrilled to, to work with them. All right. Well, good luck on the path forward. Looking forward to staying in touch. Aurora co-founder and CEO Chris Ermson and reInvent Technology Partners YCO Michael Thompson. Good to see you both.